feel like it's not that unusual to go out and buy yourself a birthday present, right? Apparently the Balenciaga store opened up in Yorkville last month and I actually had no idea. So when I walked into that part of the mall, you know, the one right across from Holt Renfrew, and I saw the Balenciaga store, I just thought I'm gonna pop in, see what's up, and then leave. But I ended up seeing something that had been on my wish list for a while. One of the colors sold out, and then the other color did go on sale, and then the day I was gonna buy it, I put it in my cart, and then I checked back again a half an hour later, and it was gone. At that point, I already knew that if I came across this item, I was probably gonna buy it because it has been on my radar for so long. And I found it here and of course just with all the luck I always have it happened to be the last one by the way this is the holiday packaging sales associate asked me if I wanted the gray traditional Balenciaga packaging or if I wanted the holiday so I went with the holiday because I feel like it's more special plus it's my first purchase at the actual Balenciaga store which is really exciting because I have a lot of their stuff so you guys guess what it is I bet everybody thinks it's shoes or a bag It's so perfect! Eee! This is the Balenciaga Archetype Scarf. It is 50% wool, 49% camel hair, and 1% polyester. So it's not 100% wool, but I wanted this scarf for so long. I thought it would be super cute in our really frigid Canadian winters. Also, I have the gray sweater that matches this. And I just thought it would be nice to kind of have like a whole tonal thing going on. I was kind of contemplating the black one, but then when I got there and I tried it on, I happened to be wearing the sweater at the time. I just thought that the gray on gray looked really, really cute. It is reversible. So on the black side, it'll be black with gray letters. And yeah, the letters are backwards, but I don't think that's a big deal at all. I'm really glad that I found it. I was looking for it on Essence. I was looking for it pre-loved. I was looking for it at Home Renfrew. And of course I found it at the Balenciaga store and I'm wearing my hoodie today because <laughs> I am I'm that person so now that you guys see what I bought myself for my birthday let's just style the look and see how you can dress up this beautiful cozy scarf This is my first outfit. I am wearing an oversized shirt. This one is from Balenciaga. I'm wearing an oversized blazer, which is from Zara. And then I've got my little Balenciaga scarfie and I wore it on the black side just to keep everything really nice and monochromatic. I've got my little LV bum bag and how I'd wear it with this outfit is just by holding it on the top handle. And I did do a review on this bag. If you guys are interested, I'll make sure that I link that. And then my jeans are rag and bone. And I got these a couple of years ago, actually. I kind of stopped wearing jeans for a while, but I forgot how comfortable these are. They have kind of like a frayed asymmetrical hem at the bottom, which is really cool. And I love that it shows off my really nice Alexander Wang boots. These are the combat boots that I am just obsessed with right now. Those Prada boots are really huge at the moment, but honestly, they're so expensive. The sole is really clunky, which... I actually love, but I'm just afraid I'm gonna get tired of something like that. So I'd rather go with the combat boot that I know I'm gonna wear after the whole like chunky sole trend goes away. And I think Zara has a few really nice dupes of those. So if you guys are interested in that trend, maybe have a look at the Zara version. And then another way I could wear this outfit is just by putting the scarf over one shoulder like this and then letting it hang down and be kind of dramatic in the best possible way. And then having my bum bag on the other side of my shoulder. So I've never actually worn a scarf like this before and I think I really like it. It's, um, it's different, it just kind of creates a different silhouette and I, I think it's really cute. I'm wearing my Anine Bing sweatshirt. This one I picked up in New York. They don't have it anymore because she makes limited edition runs on everything. I'm wearing my gray essentials sweatpants. They're so cozy. I love them. 
My boots are Zara. A lot of you guys ask me about them. They are supremely comfortable. They have a really thick sole, but I've realized that it's actually very lightweight. And even the first time that I wore them, I found they were extremely comfortable. They are faux leather. They're about $80, um, but even the faux leather is really soft. So I've been loving these boots and I'm wearing them a lot. Um, my scarf is obviously Balenciaga. I thought I would wear it today just because it's the first time I'm actually wearing it out in public and I'm really excited. My coat is also Zara. And then for my bag today, I think I'm going to use this LV bum bag just because it's super easy and it's just, it's like casual vibes and you know, it's the weekend. It's all about being casual. My next outfit with this Balenciaga scarf would be my little t-shirt from 20 Montreal. And funny enough, I actually just received the shipment as I was filming this video. So all of a sudden I have a new outfit, which is great. I'm wearing my Kara wallet biker bag and I'm wearing a pair of sweatpants. And for my shoes, I'm wearing my Balenciaga slippers. I recently just got these on super sale at Holt Renfrew. So I'm really happy I scored them because I saw Hailey Bieber wearing them and I love anything that woman wears. Unless it's a tight fitting dress, then that's not really my style. And for my, my jacket, I'm wearing a blazer. This one is from Zara. I've vlogged about it. I've worn it many times in my videos and I just think it is really, really cute. So obviously we're in Canadian winters. Sometimes it's more mild, sometimes it's more cold. So let me just get my overcoat and show you guys what this would look like. Guys, this wasn't completely by accident, but one side of the scarf is on the gray and the other side is on the black side. And I actually love the way that it turned out. I wouldn't have thought to do this myself, but it just worked out really well that way. I'm wearing, oh no, don't do that. So I'm wearing the sweatpants from 20, my Balenciaga slippers, and my 20 t-shirt, and I have the tank underneath. My Kara bag, which is layered underneath my coat and on top of my blazer, because I think that it adds less bulk to my outfit that way, and if anything, it just creates some really cool visual interest. But this is something that I would wear on a more mild winter day where I can get away with exposed ankles. It's super, super cute. Yes, Theo. If I wanted to be really extra, I could carry another bag with me. I love the way that this adds a beautiful pop of color. So my next outfit is the whole reason that I ended up getting the gray scarf instead of the black and the white. And that is because I have the matching gray sweater and I thought it would be really great to have a piece that kind of felt like an extension of the sweater that I think it is so perfect. It just makes me really, really happy. I can't even tell you guys how happy this makes me. So I am wearing it with my little Balenciaga everyday extra, I think it's an extra, extra small bag. My pants are actually from Frank and Eileen. These ones are supremely comfortable and I have worn these loads whenever I travel. They're stretchy, they have a very flattering tapered leg. They're kind of high-waisted on me, which I really like because I don't like anything low-waisted these days. I'm also pairing it with my Balenciaga slippers. These are so cute and comfortable. And I like that I am having a little Balenciaga moment. If you guys have been following me on Instagram for a while, you'll know that I have the matching hat. So first I ended up getting the sweater and then I got the hat and this year I got the scarf so I didn't buy everything all at once. But the one thing that I probably wouldn't do is wear the hat with these two other pieces just because it feels like too much. However, if you feel like you want to do that and you happen to have all these pieces and it makes you happy, I say go for it because it's just fashion. Have fun. Don't overthink it. Do you. There's always my rule of thumb, but I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely feel like it's way too much. I mean, look, it's Logomania. It's already pretty out there as it is. And then when you add all three elements together, it just turns into a lot at the same time it's kind of funny it's kind of cute but I just feel like I'm not gonna I wouldn't wear this no well guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching make sure you comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite look and let me know if you would actually wear or buy this Balenciaga scarf so far I am loving it very obsessed thank you again and I will see you guys in the next video bye